Welcome back everybody. Today I thought we would do some story time about how I used to be a child actor. I wasn't huge. I didn't do like tens and hundreds of movies. I did two. Two movies. So we're going to review my scenes in movies today. We're going to talk about them. I'm just going to tell you guys my memories. The two movies that I was in was Santa Claus 3 with Tim Allen and then also I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry with Adam Sandler and Kevin James. Let's start with Santa Claus 3. I'm going to put my headphones in. Which side is which? This is right. This is left and let me get it right here and we'll hit play here we go this is my first scene towards the beginning of the movie Honey. Honey. Mrs. Claus is pregnant with child, there's Santa. So she comes out right here out of his little office and then she's gonna walk down some stairs and wait for it. I got pause ready, cause I know it's coming. And there I am, that little boy putting a stuffed dog on the conveyor belt in the maroon hat. That is me dressed in as an elf. I played an elf in the movie. Uh, as you can tell, there are tons of elves. We all are kids. Basically, what they told me when I went to go try out for this, you know, I think it'd be better if we reenact it. If you could just say your name for us, that'd be great. My name is Austin Kleschka. That is something that's small, we'll take a picture. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we're all done. That's it? Yeah, you can go home. Okay. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I did plays when I was younger. I did it when I was around like seven, eight, and nine. And I was getting tired of it. I felt like if I kept going forward with it, I was gonna get made fun of. So I wanted to stop. And then one day my mom calls me and she's like, Hey Austin, do you want to be in Santa Claus 3? And I was like, I told you, I'm done with plays. I don't want to do them anymore. And she was like, no, this is a movie. And I was like, a movie? Heck yeah, I want to be in a movie. I said yes, and then we went to this high school. They asked for my name just like that. Then I stood against the wall. The wall had a height chart on it. I, of course, I'm not going to draw a height chart on my door. And then they took the picture and I went home. That was it. That is all I did. Then they got back to me and told me I got a part in the movie that I was going to be playing an elf. I would later find out the requirements for being an elf in this movie. They wanted you to look like a tiny adult is what they told my mom or somebody. They just said they wanted us to look like a tiny adult. So I guess I qualified as looking like a tiny adult at that age and I was around 10 when I was in Santa Claus 3. Now let me take you through the process of becoming an elf. The whole outfit. I got my little maroon hat. I got my striped shirt with overalls and then we had makeup too. I had sparkles like right here because we were supposed to look magical. Anyways, that was my outfit. Every shot I was in, that is the same outfit I am wearing in every single scene that I am in. It doesn't change. So all we had to do was remember what outfit I was wearing when we watched the movie. You're probably wondering how we got the ears done as well. We did have pointed ears like most people imagine elves having. They had to put this like skin glue on top of my ear. They literally had to put skin glue on my ear and then they had like a half ear where they would insert it on top and that was where the point came from. It, the half ear had a point at the top to look like an elf ear. And then they would like blend it in with like makeup that match my skin color so it would look like it's my normal ear and that's how we had elf ears and then we had the sparkly makeup and that was bringing Austin to an elf you know that that's how they brought me to life okay let's get back to my scene right here it doesn't go on much longer but rule number one in movies and TV shows do not look into the camera and I believe I looked into the camera right here just like a quick glance and then I put it back on the conveyor belt and just went on with my job as an elf but I oh my god the director literally told us do not not look into the camera no matter what you do do not look into the camera so I got away with that and <laughs> I'm lucky the director didn't catch it okay here's my next scene with Martin Short who plays Jack Frost and Santa's number one elf Curtis where'd he go no new skis waxed no need to be nippy waxed no need to be nippy 
what's happening here is they're tricking the the in-laws that this is Canada, not the North Pole. You got to see this movie. It's a classic, and most of that is me just saying that because I was in the movie. But I, of course, being in the movie, I love it, and it's always gonna hold uh, like a special piece of my heart. So Curtis pulls up here on his snowmobile. Jack Frost is you know just amazed at what he just completed. Right here, there I am with my maroon hat, and then I walk out of frame. They did not give me a lot of action to do in the movies. A lot of it was just stand here and be ready and then move out of the way when we're telling you to. So I really, I didn't get to do any of the fun stuff. Like there's elves who are like working on things. There's elves who are handing things to the, you know, main cast members. I didn't get to do any of that. They just told me stand here and then move out of frame when we tell you to. So it was just like, wow, I'm really, I must be low on the little elf spectrum while all the other elves are up here. Okay, so this scene right here where the naughty nice list is exploding. <laughs> I remember the director telling us, he said, there's going to be a loud bang. So do not freak out. Do not like go crazy. That's all he told us. He said there was going to be a loud bang. He didn't say where it was coming from. He just said it was going to be loud. So just be prepared. I was not prepared, even though he had told us that. You don't see me in this scene. But when it first goes off, it was like, boom. I had like a laundry basket with toys or something. And I remember the first tick, boom, Naughty Nice List goes off. And I dropped the basket. I was like, oh my God. I did not expect that and we had to redo the whole thing they were like oh we got to redo this scene because the kid back there dropped the basket and I was like well, I'm bad I, like I didn't know it's gonna be that loud and yeah it got a uh, pretty pretty loud yeah that naughty nice list was just like <laughs> ready for my one line in the movie right here are you ready for my one line right here we are your family right else we're her family right we love you we love you, Mrs. Claus. The only words I spoke in the whole movie, and everyone said that. So does it count? I don't know. I'm counting it. <laughs> pretty special to me. Got a line in a movie. Okay, so I'm going to show this scene right here because it's pretty important to my next scene that I'm in. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, Jack Frost froze her parents, and then this is one I wanted to show you guys next. What's happening to me? Warming your heart. I think I like it. Okay, so Jack Frost gets his heart warmed by her Aww. hug, and then, because he has been defrosted, the parents then defrost, as you will see right here. <laughs> <laughs> Then he will yell. Group hug! So he yells group hug, and then you can see me in the maroon hat sneaking up, and I'm like, I'm a part of this group hug, but I have like no emotion on my face in this entire movie. But there I am, right behind Judge Reinhold. You can see my maroon cap, and there I still am, just chilling right there. So yeah, that is Santa Claus 3 and all the scenes I was in. And I might as well tell you two more things. Okay, so you see that carousel behind Jack Frost right here? The Christmas tree part of the carousel, I was originally supposed to be on it, but I was too big and I could not fit on it. So that's why I ended up being behind Jack Frost when he sits down to talk to Curtis. And I also broke a light bulb on the Christmas tree when I tried to put my foot like to get on it and it just broke off. So yeah, my bad. So this scene right here, here where Mrs. Claus is having her baby where all the kids are running right here and we run down the stairs those stairs I tripped and I fell and we had to redo that whole scene I was somewhere in there but the director once again was like Cut! We gotta redo it because that kid over there fell. <laughs> I was like, my God. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret just, just between me and you right here. The snow in the movie, you know, at the North Pole, it's not really snow. It's white confetti. Crazy, I know, right? Uh <laughs> This next movie I was in was after Santa Claus 3, so I got booked for another movie. My acting career was soaring, it was taking off, and I had one scene, just one scene, and they asked me to do the simplest thing. There is no way any human being on this planet could screw this up. <laughs> Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, they asked me to clap, and apparently at that age, I nobody had taught me how to clap. Apparently this was clapping to me, and it was the most impossible thing in the world, Austin. Oh my god, how do you screw that up? I honestly, I'm talking to me, young me right now. How did you mess that up? They literally just asked you to clap and yell fight. How hard was that? Apparently very, very hard for a young Austin. So there you go, there's the two movies I was in as a child actor. I was also in a Disney like interview spot that was on Disney Channel But at my part that I said like where I actually used my voice to answer a question They cut it out when it came on the TV. So that sucked They asked me how the elves were and I said they were like I think a 500 years old I think they said because that was young in elf terms, but whatever those were the movies I was in I hope you guys enjoyed digging into my past and this little story time I did for you right here Unfortunately, none of the extras got to me like Kevin James Adam Sandler or Tim Allen. We didn't get to meet like the main cast, which really sucked. We got to be really close to them and we got to say like, hi, hi, but like that was about it. Like we didn't really get like personal time with them, which I understand. Maybe I get my acting career taken off again. <laughs> Who knows? That'd be awesome, right? If I'd be in another movie at this age, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.